What's up, everybody? It's your host, Claire Dragoon, with another war recap. I know it's been a little while. I've took a couple of weeks off. Uh, Supercell has caught me with uh, some updates, uh, racing all my videos. But we're ready to, uh, to show you our last war here in Reborn. Uh, I have my daughter with me. Uh, she's co-hosting this video. And I'm going to let her uh, talk about this run. Well, let's look at the troops first. So he's got some dragons and some hogs. That's, that's unusual. With some archers. No. So what do you think he's going to do with those hogs, Beetle? Well, I'm not. Um, I'm thinking he might put them over on the, the AA, maybe. Well, it looks like right here to me he's, uh, he's trying to drag out the CC. Yeah, with his king. Mm, and so, kill the air defense. Yeah, the CC's been pulled. So he got a two, and two for one on that one. Yeah. So now he's down just two air defenses. Well, you see what he's done here. He's dropped the... Uh, poison. The poison, yeah. It's going to cook on that dragon. And the new uh, spell update has made the poison not be quite as effective at first. It kind of picks up its uh, effectiveness um, as it sits. So he's letting that dragon kind of get beat down. Right, Bailey? Yeah. And now it's down to halfway, so... There, there he goes putting his hogs in. He, he deployed it right there on the, the air defense right there, mm -hmm. but then just got you know pretty beat up. Why do you think he done that, Beetle? Well, why do you think he made a run on that air defense over here and then hadn't messed with it since? You think he's probing? Maybe. I think he's probing because this was me. <laughs> so now look, there you go. Oh, but the hogs went to the wrong thing. But there, there you go. He, he had a couple more left. So he's going to get the uh, second AA down, which now turns his base into less than a Town Hall 7 against nine dragons. Mm -hmm. Plus, now, if you noticed, guys, um, the spell configuration, uh, he's got Rage Rage Heal on this and only one air defense. So that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much disaster for this base. Yeah. And as you can see, it's a preemie Town Hall 9. Um, it did have four air defense, but they're going down. So. So at this point, we'll speed it up a little bit, because I, I really don't foresee this base surviving uh, this attack. No, I mean, there's not much left that can do anything besides the Wizard Towers. And, you know, right. six dragons against the Wizard Tower is not very... No, we'll go ahead and crank that one out, because this one is done. GJ. There we go. Solid three star. Yep. Now, I, I want to bring this attack. I got a couple more I'm going to run on Town Hall 8, but I want to bring this attack to your attention. It's another dragon attack. But I want to. I want you to look at the spell compilation on this. You notice uh, a different spell comp, right, Beetle? There's two lightning and earthquake. That's now, right. There's some new stuff about that that you can use the earthquake as a lightning and you can have a rage or a heal in replace of that third lightning spell. Right. So if you've never seen this done before, it, it really turns the dragon attack into a little bit more effective attack because typically you use three lightning and, you know, a, a poison. Uh, yeah. For, but the poison is useless in a dragon attack. Most of the time when I run that configuration, I never even use it. So here we go. Let's let's take a look at uh, at what I do on here. There again, this is uh, a mini I'm playing. So let's see what happens. Okay, you see I dropped the earthquake. Now one lightning, two lightnings. It's down. So as you can see, that it works just as good as the light three lightning spells. Exactly. Now what do you think I'm gonna do, Beetle? There goes your hogs to take out that other air defense. That's right. That's right. Air defense number two yeah. is going down. Yep. And this is not a rush town hall eight per se. I mean, it's a town hall eight. It ain't exactly a, a strong town hall eight, but it's got decent defenses. But um, as you can see, the hogs even live past the, uh, the air defense. They're still doing work. I have a heal spell, which was supposed to be a rage, but I messed it up in my queue. Mm -hmm. And so I just said, heck with it, I'm not wasting the elixir. And I went on with the attack. Still works out, though, because, I mean, they're going against that little air defense right there now. Well, I know. It would have just made them go through the air defense a little bit quicker. Yeah, but at least they're recharged. Yeah, it worked out. 
But as you can see, this base is wrecked. There's there's nothing left. The hogs come over here, took out a lot of defenses. King's still alive. I've got a whole pile of dragons. Uh, King's abilities used. This base is over. We'll speed it up and get on to the other attacks. But I would suggest using that, that spell config because it, it does work. Oh, yeah, it's great. But it does not work if your lightning is level 4 and your earthquake is level 1. It will not work, so remember that. All right, so let's look at our next attack. Uh, let's see who we're going to look at here. We're going to look at Mr. Simus. I want you to talk about this attack, Beetle. So what's he got here? He's got some hogs with a couple wizards and... And some archers. Now his his spells over here looks like you know three heal and a poison. So. But I've noticed something right away before you uh, click on play. I noticed that he only has four wizards. He does have a few more archers than normal, but he has dropped his kill squad in half. Like normally we'd carry eight wizards. He's uh, he's got four. Mm -hmm. So let's see what he does. It's strange. Well, there he goes. He's probing the base for big bombs. He's actually trying to pull the CC, I believe, too. Oh. So now he knows what's in the CC. And now he's taking it to the corner. Yeah, he's going to pull it over there. He's going to bunch it up. And there it goes. Right there. Boom. There goes the poison. All right, it's going to kill the archers right away. We know that. Uh, look at the two-minute mark. Typically on a hog run, you want to uh, have the hogs in play by two minutes. So I can see that he's expedited the uh, kill squad here by putting his king uh, in the line of fire. Uh, but, but it worked. He only used four wizards and the dragon's down. And he still has wizards left. So there. now he's probing. You see he's probing with the hogs. He found some big bombs. That was a good, that was a good probe. Here now he goes. Starting his line. Yep, he's running a single line of hogs. And there goes the CC hogs. Oh yeah, he's going to take that out. That way his hogs won't double back. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Whoa, he lost three of those level five hogs though. That sucked. I know, that's going to factor in later. They all just split. They split into three. It's alright, he's still got two heal spells. He's really doing really good right now on his spells. Um... And he's dropped them really good. This is a perfect spell right here on this other side. His hogs are making their way around the base. He still hadn't dropped any on this other side. He's probably going to drop it pretty soon. There it goes. There it goes. Now he missed that wizard tower. But there's so many hogs left. Hopefully these will get healed and be able to take that wizard tower out. Oh, nope. No, they're going to attack the king right now. That other line. The king's down. Mm -hmm. So now at this point... The base is broken. There's no more defenses. So it's a matter of time. He's got 40 seconds. We'll speed it up. Because we, uh, we know what the outcome of this one is. It's pretty much over. Time gets a little scary, though. It's down to the last second. At times. There was that other big bomb. Did you see that? Yeah, right that... there. The last minute, boom. Big bomb was coming to blow him up. Mm -hmm. Good job, Simus. All right. Now, last attack, we're going to look... Let me see. No, that's a down attack. We're going to look at uh, Dan. Dan is using a different type of army config here. Um, oh, wait a minute. That's not, though. Oh, that's on the Town Hall 9. I'm sorry. Actually, this is a hog attack. But anyway, if you noticed here, Dan is uh, sacrificing a couple more wizards. Um, he does have a golem, so he's doing a bit of a, a go-ho. But you can see right there, There's a. Uh, this is a Town Hall 9 with an X-Bow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have two X-Bows. But, it, you know, it's a rush Town Hall 9, but it's, it, but it's more than an 8. So Dan's up attacking here, and let's see what he does. So with, I'll tell you this, uh, Bailey, I know you're Town Hall uh, 8, so uh, a lot of times when you're attacking a, a, a 9, you're dealing with a queen, but I don't think this particular uh, 9 has a queen, so yeah. that's a good thing. So I think Dan's probing with these hogs right now and trying to pull the CC. Yeah. Yep. There it goes, CC. All right, so I guess he's. I, I'm not sure what that one was about, but I, I guess he's trying to to uh, to get his line of hogs the way he wants to go. So let's see, let's see what he's doing here. Okay, he's using witches in a in a CC level two witches, and uh, they're gonna 
they're going to deal with that dragon. So he, he just doesn't use level 5 hogs. He doesn't need them. He's got 22 hogs. Let's, let's go back down because they've already killed the dragon. Let's see where his hogs are going to come in at. So he's deployed the golem here, and and I think I think he's deployed a golem. There was a there was a base hole right here where this Tesla is, and I think he done that to draw fire of this expo, which was really smart. So now, as you can see down here at the bottom, he's starting to get his hogs in play. Yeah, he's. It looks like he's just spreading them oh, out, not and, even doing too. Long. Yeah, he's doing an Asian wall deployment. When you see him uh, run back and forth like that, you know, spreading them in in a line like that. Uh, an Asian wall deployment on the hogs. That way, if there was some big bombs on the outside of the base, his hogs would still live. And he's trying to get that expo down right away. Hill spells got the expo in it, so the expo is toast. And as you okay. can see, the golem just split, and uh, it was perfect timing. Had it been any longer, uh, the hogs might have been in danger from that expo. Yeah. So he's got one more hill spell left, and you can see he's got one more uh, or two more wizard towers. Once they go down, uh, he's good to go. It's over. And all this outside stuff, these little whiz wizards and the little Larrys, they're all cleaning up on the outside for them. So when the hogs get done taking out the defenses, they'll have less to clean up. Right. And look, they're getting healed one more time as they take out the last few defenses. So they're going to be really solid uh, when they finish this base. And he actually run with, with very few hogs. By the time he started this run, he had 22 hogs. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is a really nice run by Dan really good his witches are still alive the kill squad uh from dealing with oh there went a big bomb oh i didn't even see that yep one. Sogs are pretty beat up now yeah pretty beat up but hopefully there's no more big bombs the king just went down which is good they hit another bomb right there but it wasn't a big bomb but as as you can tell this this is this is wrecked here yeah it's pretty pretty solid still down to the very very less well, now, it doesn't go all the way to three minutes if you didn't use them all. It actually just counts the time it took you to take the base. So, I mean, he's good to go. He he had plenty of time. Good job, Dan. And that's uh, that's all the uh, Town Hall 8 action I'm going to bring in this war. I'm actually going to bring you some Town Hall 9 action, uh, a part 2 to the same war against... Um, let me see what the name of his clan was. Almeria 5.0. And by the way, in this clan, their, their number one guy... Um, uh, tab, tab, tablitas. Yeah. He actually sandboxed one of our guys, so he he had some type of mod or something, and he actually sandboxed attack. And as you can see, it says he has no attacks left. Uh, but but look at this. Um, as you can see there, it says he has an attack left. He didn't use an attack, so he tried to sandbox, um, and and uh, it didn't work out for him. I guess the rest of his team is not modders. Uh, but they they still got smashed, so uh, I'm kind of glad they didn't uh, they didn't win. So. Part two, uh, me and Beetle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Till next time. If this evil force can be stopped.